Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is, what is today? Today's Sunday, <laughs> August the 7th. But today I have uh, two little projects to show you. That is a Stitcher stash, no, no, no Stitcher library <laughs> um, project. But anyways, I'm gonna get into it. So uh, I like it when pattern designers have like, every now and then some of them will have big um, deals where, they're, will they, where they will sell all their patterns for like a one price. Usually it's like anywhere from 10 to like 20, $30, depending on how many patterns I have. And one of the people who've done that before is the, is Crazy for Crochet Mama. I will um, link her Ravelry shop below. I don't, I think she has Etsy too. If, if she has that, I'll link it both below. But, uh, so I've been, I have a lot of her patterns in my, my library because I bought a whole, like all of her patterns at one time. Um, so I was looking through and I wanted to make me and June some cute things to wear this winter that match together. <laughs> so one of the patterns that I found that I already owned is called the Double Double Threat Ear Warmer. And it's by Crochet for, Crazy for Crochet Mama. <laughs> I used a J hook, which is six millimeter and I used worsted weight yarn. So it is like an ear warmer. It's one of those that's like half a hat. So here's the one that's my size, <laughs> the adult size one. And it, this pattern comes from zero to three month all the way up to adult size. So here's mine and it does fit, I've tried it on. So it's basically a hat without the top. <laughs> so it's an ear warmer and you can also wear your hair up if you have long hair. Um, so there's mine and then I made June one. This is the six month to 12 month size cause she'll be, um, you know, she'll have a bigger head by the end of this year. <laughs> so uh, it's just a little bit smaller, smaller than mine, but um, I think it'll fit her. Cause I was kind of holding it up. I didn't put it on her head cause I don't want to freak her out. <laughs> But I, I was holding it up to her head, and it seems like it's just a smidge big on her head right now. So it should fit her this winter pretty good. But it does have stretch, so it's all good. I just think it's so cute. And the yarn that I used is, I love this yarn, Metallic. I got some left. <laughs> um, it's called Pinky Toes. I think I had three balls of this. I have a scrap ball that I need to pull out that I need to use up from where I made us other ear warmers, the crown ones. Um, so then I have this floppy skein, and then I have a full skein left still. So this is a number four worsted weight yarn. Um... But yeah, so these are the two little projects that I made. I think they're so cute. <laughs> I like uh, this kind of ear warmers a lot because I do wear my hair in a ponytail a lot or in a bun, a messy bun. So it'll help keep uh, my ears warm and then she'll just match me and have a cute little <laughs> band thing too. But um, yeah, I really like this pattern. So I'll link this pattern below and I'll also link her Ravelry and her Etsy shops below. And I think she does like periodically have... Um, a sale where she sells all her patterns at once. There's a few other designers that do that a lot and I always try to, if it's people that I like a lot, their patterns, I try to do that because um, that way I have all the patterns and it's easy just to go through there and pick and choose what I want to make. Um, so yes, I think when she did it, she has like a hundred patterns or so. And then the, another person that did it, I can't remember what their name is, but they had like over a hundred patterns as well and it was like $10. So it's a really good deal if you just buy them in hunks like that. <laughs> I wish every designer did that every now and then. But, uh, anyways, I like my little headband, my ear warmer, and the little June size one. And I'll definitely get pictures of us in these, uh, this coming winter, which is coming up. It won't be long before it starts getting cool. And, uh, now I gotta figure out what to do with the rest of this. Like I said, I have a scrap ball from the first one. I have this floppiness from this one. And then I have a full skein. So I need to find something to use up these yarns. Um, cause I'm trying to use up a lot of my stash so that I can buy more. <laughs> but, um, I've done pretty good. I don't think I bought any yarn at all this year. I'm trying to think. I did get some in the mail, but I didn't actually purchase any myself, so I think that's pretty good. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here, and I'll see you guys later today for Vlogist Day 7, and uh, I'll see you in, in a few days, maybe for a crochet video. <laughs> but I think they're so cute. I love this yarn, too. It's so pretty. It's sparkly. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to hop off here, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.